Alex, the sinker has gone from an afterthought for Kyle Bradish to a, a real strong weapon for him. What have you seen from that pitch? And is it helping bring the best out of that nasty slider? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, so much of today's game is about establishing those heaters, right? Building off of the four-seamer. Bradish, it's a little bit different. He leads with the slider, right? So he needs a sinker that's going to be able to pair with that pitch, and that's exactly what this sinker does. He added a lot more drop to the pitch this year, right? He introduced it last year, worked on it a little bit, changed the release point, and he got rid of some of the carry to the pitch, right? And that allows him to have more success with the sinker, have more success with the slider, and maybe save that four-seamer a little bit. Does something very interesting in that four-seamer and that he cuts it a lot, right? Yeah. Last year he was trying to get a lot of ride, a lot of carry with that four-seamer. This year he got away from it a little bit. Kind of embracing the fact that that four seamer is a little bit steeper. He drops the drop. He gets rid of the drop on the four seamer, I should say. Gets rid of the uh, carry on the sinker. Gives it a little bit more drop. You see that kind of east west movement that we batter saw. Batter has no idea. Exactly. The batter has no idea. It allows it to set up the slider and give him more success overall. He's throwing the curveball 50% more than last year. With how effective that's been, could he throw that a little bit more too? I think he can. So listen, he adds more drop to the four seamer, adds more drop to the sinker, and then what does he do? He gets rid of some of the drop in the curveball, gives it more of like a slurve property, yeah. right? Great with getting called strikes. He's nearly doubled the swing and miss rate on that pitch overall, and he uses it differently, right? He's not necessarily back-footing the lefties with that mm -hmm. curveball. He's actually back-dooring lefties. He's coming away with them. I actually think there could be a positive step forward there. Maybe if he back-doors, or excuse me, back-foots those lefties a okay. little bit, comes down with them. It's just another new weapon, right? We already have the slider. Establish that curveball a little bit more. You're already getting good swings and misses. Let's see if we can back-foot it left, over to the left-footed uh, back batters maybe have a little more success there excuse me jack flaherty a lot of success in his debut with the o's cutter's been a four-letter word around here for some pitchers <laughs> his cutter looked pretty masterful and how about that knuckle curve as well yeah totally so what's interesting about the cutter we're talking about drop a lot in this conversation yes. more drop than ever before Woo. in his career more drop than ever you love to see that Lots of cutter whiffs, lots of curveball whiffs, and most importantly, a slider, excuse me, a four seamer hitting 97 miles an hour, the hardest four seamer he has thrown all year. One last thing about this velocity, because yes. this is really important for him. There's like an invisible line between 93 and 94 miles okay. an hour, right? Where differences are really stark. So for example, if I throw a 99 mile an hour heater or a 100 mile an hour heater, the batting average against isn't too different. The difference between the batting average against on 93 and 94 is stark. Massive. The biggest one in baseball, right? So when he's sitting 94 like he was in that start, that's where you want to see Jack Flaherty sitting. He's had some difficulty there in the past with the Cardinals sitting 92, sitting 93. But if you're an Orioles fan and you want to see, okay, is he going to have success today? Pay attention to that first and second inning. If he's hitting 96, right, and sitting 94, that's how you know this could be a real good outing for Jack Flaherty. Real quick before we get out of here, Shintaro Fujinami, what should be looking for there on film? Can you see the difference between when He's crisp for two innings against the Yankees and when he can't find the plate. All about mechanics from him, right? Don't want to fly open. What's fun about him, his stuff is elite. I love this new methodology when it comes to pitching. It's very different. Don't worry about hitting your spots. Trust your stuff. It's elite. If you aim right down the center of the plate, that four-seamer is going to go up. Right. And that splitter is going to go down. Don't worry about pinpoint command, pinpoint precision. Trust your stuff. When he does that, he can be elite for the Orioles moving forward. Let him chase it. Thanks for making us smarter, buddy. Yeah, thanks for having me. I love talking O's.